Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out this week's latest Canary Channel Insider Build 25987, which they made available on the 1st of November. So if you are interested, just to have a look at what is so-called hot off the presses and what's new in Build 25987. Now, first of all, I'm just going to mention this um, first improvement because we have spoken about this previously on the channel. And during the setup, that's the OOBE, Out of Box Experience, with this week's uh, build, when you need to connect to a network and there's no Wi-Fi drivers, you'll be given an option to press an install drivers button to install drivers you have previously downloaded. And I'll leave that video. I did post a little bit more in depth on that feature down below if you would be interested. Now, I think this next um, so-called change is what I would consider to be the key highlight um, for this latest build where Microsoft now is starting to de-bloat the OS a little bit more, which I always think is a nice move when it comes to uh, the Windows operating system. And starting with this build, the Windows Maps and Movies and TV apps will no longer be installed after doing a clean install of the operating system. Um, just take note, though, that the Windows Maps and Movies and TV apps will not be removed on an upgrade. So it's only during a clean install, not during an upgrade. And... Uh, um, you can also continue to download them and they will be available from the Microsoft Store as individual apps. But during a clean install now, maps and movies and TV apps will be removed and I think that's a nice move and I certainly hope that that does make its way down, that deprecation makes its way down to the stable version because as I've posted previously, I think it's going to happen because already uh, Microsoft is removing offline support for maps um, on Windows uh, in the future. So this is just another move and I think that's a nice move, just debloating the OS a little bit more. Now for this next one, we're going to head over to our settings and our Windows Update and Advanced Options Delivery Optimization. And Microsoft says that with uh, this latest Canary Channel uh, build for this week, uh, this delivery optimization page um, is being updated to match the Windows 11 design principles. So there are bringing a bit of a UI tweak and adjustment to match the look and feel of Windows 11 for this delivery optimization um, page. And then um, if we head to our file explorer and I'll right click on a PNG image file and we head to properties, I think this is a nice improvement where um, PNG files now support viewing and editing metadata. So for an example, if you'd like to set a star rating in properties, edit the description or add keywords. So I actually think that's a nice move, being able to edit the metadata now of a PNG image file. Now we also get a fix for a known issue where they fixed an issue causing File Explorer to crash in Windows Sandbox when using a non-English display language. And I always say on the channel, any um, crash that is addressed and fixed is always a nice move in the right direction. And although they have fixed a known issue, we get three new known issues. Because obviously the Canary channel is um, very early days uh, in the Insider program. So we are and could always expect to see a couple of known issues. And then over and above that, we get a Microsoft Store update. Where you can now customize the install location of your game. So when downloading games like Starfield, Halo Infinite or Forza Motorsport, you will now be able to specify the installation drive. When clicking the install button, you'll be greeted. Uh, with a new dialog providing you a chance to select a drive, as we can see. And um, you can also change your default drive from the Microsoft Store setting page, as many of you may know. So that's a bit of an improvement. You can customize the install location of your game. So that's more or less what's new. Uh, as mentioned in this week's latest Canary Channel Insider Build 25987. And as mentioned, um, the key highlight is... They are now removing Windows Maps and Movies and TV apps on a clean install, which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.